Introducing the process of converting waste into energy by Dehan ENC, which produces environment-friendly RDF from MSW. From MSW, organic wastes are separately sorted and treated. After the manual sorting process in which bottles, large ferrous, styrofoam, and fabric are separated from wastes that have entered the bunker, ferrous wastes are sorted by the magnetic separator. Then, after primary shredding, organic wastes are screened with the trommel. Wastes are dropped onto the sun-dry bay by the feeding system for even drying. The organic wastes are agitated for several days and are subjected to the primary drying process under natural wind and sunlight, also artificial wind, and then are transferred onto the drying conveyor system for the secondary drying process. The tertiary drying of organic wastes, which finished the secondary drying, is completed at the kiln dryer. Then, non-ferrous metals are sorted by the eddy current separator, and the wastes are stored in the arm roll box. From MSW, combustible wastes are separated and treated. Combustible wastes are transferred from the trommel to the wind separator and are sorted into high-gravity wastes and low-gravity wastes. Combustible wastes coming out of the multi-tier drying conveyor are shredded into smaller particles through secondary shredding and are stored after non-ferrous metals are sorted. From landfill wastes, combustible wastes are separated and treated. Wastes brought from landfills are subjected to primary drying at the tipping floor and they are transferred to the trommel through the feed controller. Wastes are shredded after ferrous wastes are separated with the magnetic separator after going through drying process at the kiln dryer and are stored in the arm roll box. Produced refuse-derived fuel, RDF, is used as fuel in a variety of ways. Wastewater moves to the treatment facility 